Hello everyone. Welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how to draw impossible star logos in Microsoft Word. I am going to show you two examples. First is a pentagonal impossible star and second one is a hexagonal impossible star. Now let us see how to draw a pentagonal impossible star. First, insert a drawing canvas by going to insert shapes new drawing canvas resize the drawing canvas a little bit keeping the drawing canvas still selected draw a pentagon i would set the size as 1.07 for the height and 1.12 for the width you can experiment with different measurements then you can go to rotate and flip vertical see i have inserted the drawing canvas because drawing canvas provides better object snap options now insert a line hold your shift key while drawing the line create a horizontal line and set the width as 3 cm and now you can change the color of the shape outline I would choose the line weight as this one and then I would align this on the pentagon like this see you might also apply the same line style for the pentagon as well so when you uh, drag the line near the pentagon it automatically snaps to the pentagon so that is due to the object snap options so you will need to con make sure uh, the object snap options is uh, turned on by going to the align and clicking on grid settings and you should make sure that there is a check mark in snap objects to other objects so by default it will be uh, turned on now you can duplicate this by holding your control button and clicking and dragging and then rotate this by 72 degree and then align it on the other side then again you can duplicate this and rotate it by 144 degree and now you can just duplicate this and flip this horizontally then you can place this on the other side duplicate this one as well and flip this vertically and place this on the other side now create a line for 6 cm apply the same line style the same black color and line white as, as this one now you can rotate this for 72 degree and then align this line with this one just you can take take it near to that line automatically it snaps to the edge i mean the end point now you can duplicate this one by holding your control button on the keyboard and clicking and dragging now rotate this for 144 degrees and align it with this line and you can duplicate this rotate this or you can flip this vertically similarly copy this line and then flip this horizontally and then align this with this line See, you might have to increase the height and width of the drawing canvas as required now 
duplicate this line and rotate it by 0 degree and snap it to this line now you can duplicate this line and snap it to this point here and increase the line height but you will need to hold on your shift key while doing so so that it is increased in the same angle like that this can be a little uh, you know uh, lengthier there is no definite height you can just do it roughly now increase the length of this line while doing so you will need to hold on your shift key and then drag this so that it intersects with this line now you can copy this line this line hold on your control button and click and drag now you will need to carefully place this on this intersection like this you might have uh, zoom and check whether what you're doing is correct so I think it's perfect now you can go to insert shapes and click on the freeform tool now you will need to draw a shape so we are going to click a point here and here and then here here this one and this one now you will need to uh, remove the shape fill I'll set no fill and I'll also change the line color to some other different color and then I'll change the line width line weight to this one now you can check whether what you have done is correct if it is not done properly you can go to the edit shape edit points and adjust the points so that it perfectly sits on the intersections like that now you can draw another shape here using the same free font tool so while doing I mean creating the shape with the freeform tool just make clicks don't click and drag so if you click and drag uh, unexpected shapes might be created so simply make clicks so I'll make a click here next click over here and then the third one fourth and the last that's the fifth one I'll remove the shape fill and set the outline color maybe a different one and then the line weight to this one now you will need to zoom and check whether it's perfect so if it is not you can use the edit points and correct them I think it's perfect now let us zoom back now what you can do is you can just click and delete all these reference lines all of them now you can fill the color for these uh, two so you can go to the shape fill gradient and I would like to choose this one and select the other one and I will choose a different gradient for this let me try out this one now I'll select both and then I will group this together and then I would like to apply a outline color 
so i guess there is some correction needs to be done here i'll just zoom it zoom it and check see this it is okay here it it's not properly touching so let me correct this stuff we will ungroup it and then we will correct this one So now you can regroup this again. Now I'll zoom back. I'll change the line weight to this one. Now I will duplicate this. Rotate it by 72 degree. And then align it here like this so you can also use your arrow keys to make some fine tuning and adjustments and duplicate this shape again rotate it by 144 degrees and then align it here you can use your arrow keys and then duplicate this rotate this by 216 degree and align it this way now copy this one and rotate it by 288 degrees and align it in this position you can use the arrow keys then you can delete the pentagon here in the middle now you can select everything and group them together and then you can add the shadow if you want shadow or reflections if you want you can just go to the shape effects and you can add a shadow sorry the shadow like this and you can also add a reflection like this okay now let us see how to draw an impossible hexagonal star logo first insert a drawing canvas increase the size of the drawing canvas now keeping this still selected go to the shapes and insert a triangle see i am not using hexagon there is a reason so now for the height you can type 2.6 sorry 2.24 and for the width you can type 2.6 centimeter see i am using centimeter uh, then you can uh, remove the fill set the outline color as black and then the line weight as the minimum now duplicate this and then you can flip this vertically then align it with each other like this
now you can duplicate this and align it like this now select everything copy this and then flip it vertically and align it as shown now you can duplicate this one and place it here and then now duplicate this triangle and keep it here and uh, this one here and you can duplicate this one here and this one here and then duplicate this one here now insert a horizontal line and set the width as 0 0.96 and change the outline color and line weight and then align this to this triangle and then make a duplicate copy of the line and align with the previous line now draw a horizontal line so i'm not very definite about the width it can it, it's a reference line now set the same outline color and line weight now to increase the uh, to have a larger workspace it's better to change the orientation to landscape and increase the width and height of the drawing canvas now rotate this line by 60 degree and place the line on the edge of these triangles you can use the arrow keys align it perfectly on the edge now you can duplicate this and place it on the end of the first line here I mean the small line that we created and copy the line and place it on at the end of this line I mean the second smaller line like this now you can group all these together one two and three all the three lines group it together now copy this line group and rotate this hold on your shift key while rotating so that it rotates in perfect angles now you can align this on the edge of the these triangles these triangles you can use the arrow keys now you can make a duplicate copy of this again and flip this vertically and then align it here on the edge of these triangles like this now you can create a smaller line of any length and then set the outline color and outline outline weight then rotate it by 60 degree now place this line on the intersection of these lines over here you can use the arrow keys to adjust like that now using the freeform tool you will need to create three shapes so one is here remove the shape fill and change the outline color to a different one reduce the line weight and now zoom and check whether it is done perfectly 
if not you can use the edit points and adjust the placement now make sure you align it perfectly on the lines and intersections so one shape is created now the another shape needs to be created here so you can also make a note that I am just making clicks and not uh, I am not clicking and dragging now for this I will select a different color now I will use the edit points and correct the placement now let us zoom back now the third shape needs to be created here now use the same freeform tool and create another shape now for this again i'll choose a different outline color now let us use the edit points Now let us check whether there is any mistake. now you will need to delete all the reference lines and also these triangles now let us fill the color for these shapes so first i will fill this one with this gradient fill and for the second one i will apply this gradient and for the third one i'll apply this gradient now i'll select all the shapes together 
and then I'll apply black color now let us inspect and check whether there is any corrections that needs to be made now I think there is a slight correction here, here. let us use the edit points and correct it now you can group all the shapes together now I'll increase the line weight now let me duplicate this shape rotate this by 60 degree and align it with the previous one like this and then duplicate this rotate it by 120 degree and align it with the previous shape like this now duplicate this again rotate it by 180 degrees and align it with the previous shape you can use the arrow keys to align the shapes now rotate it by 240 degrees and then make another duplicate and this is going to be the last one rotate it by 300 degrees and then align it so you might have to make some adjustments now you can group everything you can apply a shadow effect and reflection effect if you want by going to the shape effects Dear viewers, you can download the PNG files of these logos on my website. I hope that this tutorial is helpful. I'll see you all with another awesome topic. Until then, it's bye from hbninfotech.com.